Okay, so what we're going to run through in this demo video is the first page that you're presented with um, when you open Stringnosis, which is the well definition or the well tab. So for the well definition, this is basic information such as name of the well, description of the well, whether it's onshore, offshore, um, vertical, deviated, a notes section where I often put um, revision notes, um, data changes, etc. And if I've I had to change something, I'll put a revision note in there. And then moving on from this tab, once the basic data is in there, it's all very self-explanatory. Uh, we move into the trajectory tab. There's a couple of ways to import data. Uh, the inbuilt way is we go up with the import menu from Excel, and I can select trajectory. What I'm going to use here is a base data file that I have that's formatted in a way that I can import data easily. So I select it here. Um, this Excel file has four tabs, and each tab only has data related to what I would want to import. So I'm going to select the uh, trajectory tab here. I'm going to start in column. This is going to start in column, um, um, start on row two. The MD column is going to be alpha, inclination here with Bravo, and with Charlie for the final azimuth. And then we're color coded to make sure that everything matches. I'm just going to drag the data through that we want. I can click OK here. Um, the program lets you know it successfully imports the trajectory data and we're displayed with the information here. However, this is not the data for the well that we're going to work on right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to file. I'm just going to close this down. Don't want to save changes. No. Um, and then we have a new well file here. So I'm going to take the trajectory data and I'm going to do the old cut and paste. So I just pull the data like this, control C out of Excel. Um, Control V here. Um, currently, well type is vertical. Change to deviated. We will want to change it to deviated because we no longer have a vertical well. Select OK, and it pulls across all of the trajectory data. This also updates the 3D diagram um, on the well definition tab, which you can move around and play with um, as you see fit. And by right clicking, we can restore default view. Throughout string notes, the right click is quite, quite powerful. What we wanted to do, instead of having a bunch of menus up here, with lots of different pieces of data where we have to pull down, we put a lot of things um, in right click. So if there's any time when you're using the program and you're unsure what to do, um, or you're looking for an option that you can't find, right click and you will more than likely find it there. Um, failing that, you can select the help file from up here. Um, head towards the section that you're busy working on and find the help. The help file is, is very helpful, actually, and will give you details of presumptions we make, procedures you need to take, etc., etc. So I'll close that down for a moment. The final tab underneath well definition is the formation data. Um, very similar to the trajectory tab, where we can just control C, control V, our data into here and have it plotted. What I'm going to do now is open up um, base data, and then this is going to show you the formation data as we have it here. So you've got the pressures imported this data, and you can see the pore pressure and fracture gradient lines are displayed on the same grass, uh, graph. Uh, we've got our salt section here, this is why it looks the way it is. And if we hover over any line, we can find out what the pore pressure and fracture gradient is at that depth. We've come across with the temperature. Uh, we've set an ambient surface temperature. We set a mudline temperature here. Um, and then we've got our numerous temperature points al along the well bore up to 30,000 feet. Well, yeah, just, on a th just over 30,000 feet, the TBD. Finally, we can come into the lithology. Um, what needs to be done in the, the lithology is you need to define the salt section. And this is the only place uh, the only type of formation that we need to define is this makes changes to the thermal model that we want the program to recognize and make it more accurate through salt. So you need to select the layer below depth as salt. Um, next, we move on to the case and design. 